Sam Nichols and partner Greg Green were put on this earth to care. By day, they're saving lives as paramedics, and every other spare second, they're saving lives of the four-legged variety. With a soft spot for German Shepherds, they created Sweet Shepherd Rescue. And so far, they've saved the lives of around 550 dogs. So how did Mishka come to be with you? Uh, Mishka came from um, the Geelong Pound, um, Gorse. Uh, they had her as a stray and nobody came to collect her. Uh, so when she arrived, she was extremely skinny and uh, pretty much bald. And she was about 17 kilos. She had some really big tumours that had to be removed. And oh my goodness. What does she weigh now? If she She's was... 32 kilos now. Um, but she's certainly come out of her shell and she's very happy now. <laughs> so can you treat them all at home? Yeah, there's a lot of things we can treat at home. Obviously, there's a lot of things we go to, to vets for, for surgical care, but all of our rehab and all of our ongoing care happens here at home. I think there was a misconception really that shepherds are, were a dangerous breed because they were used as guard dogs. But look how smoochy these guys are. You are just beautiful. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> this Mother Teresa quote is something Sam lives by. The greatest disease in the West today is not TB or leprosy. It's being unwanted, unloved and uncared for. We can cure physical diseases with medicine, but the only cure for loneliness, despair and hopelessness is love. You guys do so many things to rehab the dogs, don't you? And this is a vibrating massage bed. Yeah, this bed um, was one of the ones that we bought for the dogs to rehab them through surgery and orthopaedic um, injuries that they've got, and it's meant to accelerate their healing. It must be such a major help having your background as a paramedic. Yeah, I like to think that everything that we've done, you know, study-wise has assisted, you know, the dogs to, to get better care, you know, the best grade medical care we can. And, you know, if we provide the best medical care we can, like we do for humans to dogs, a lot of them thrive under that care. So you foster the dogs for temporary homes until they find their forever home? That's true, yeah. We, we tend not to use shelters. Shelters aren't good for dogs. Uh, especially shepherds, they tend to really not thrive well and a lot of pounds understand that now and get them straight out into a foster care network like ourselves. That sort of system sets them up to go into homes, be loved, sit on the bed, sit on the couch, you know, get some better manners and rehabilitation if they need it and it just means they're set up ready for their new home. You guys need a lot of money to even operate, don't you? We bring in our dogs without a care for what medical needs they have. It's not about money, it's about bringing them in, getting it and then figuring out how to fund that afterwards. Well, speaking of people who want to thank you, I'd like to introduce Stacey Yay! with a little <laughs> hands here oh on behalf God. of Petstock and the Petstock Assist Charity Foundation. We would like to thank you for the incredible work that you are doing with Sweet Shepherd Rescue. And to help you guys out, we'd like to provide you with a $6,000 grant so you can continue this incredible work. Thank you. Great. Thank you. I'm going to make me cry. Oh, you deserve it. You're Thank amazing. You. You're such an inspiration to so many. Oh. To nominate a charity or apply yourself for a Petstock Assist grant, head to their website, petstock.com.au forward slash assist.